Okay, the uh, video I made yesterday was about John 14, and if you could see at this point the conditions that are that have to be met, their requirements to receive the benefits of John 14, which is uh, re receiving the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, Spirit of Truth, Spirit of Jesus, Spirit of God. Jesus says, "If you do this, I will do this." It goes back to that. Command, promise, faith, fulfillment. Jesus makes the command, follows it with a promise. We go out on faith and perform the command. Ooh, fire planes. We go out on faith and perform the command, and then he fulfills the promise. Okay. That video was about being filled with the Holy Spirit. Okay. Now you you asked, I was asked, is that is that how is it put? Uh, about being filled with the Holy Spirit and the conditions that have to be met. Then I was asked several questions, good questions, about salvation. Is salvation conditional? And, well, just remember, that video is about being filled with the Holy Spirit, not about salvation. But it's actually really about salvation. I figure if I can get, enough, if I can get anyone to see the conditions in John 14, the requirements for the Holy Spirit, to, the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, you'll begin to understand more about salvation. Now, I've not hidden this, and I don't, I'm totally open about this, I, if I, I should name the channel after it. And I'll put this in terms that most Christians will understand, I'll use the same phraseology. I believe in a works-based salvation. I believe in an earned salvation. I don't think it should be called that, what I'm talking about, but that's the easiest way for you to understand me, all right? You're given commands, Jesus gives us plenty of them, things that we are to do. You can go through the epistles and see all the examples laid out there. Uh, the mistake I made is I read the Bible. Okay, I didn't get it from someone in, in their interpretation. Uh, so I don't need to go there. But just so it's easier for people to understand, that, hey, you're thinking the salvation is conditional? Yes, I do. And I don't see how anyone could read the words of Jesus and come up with anything else. You can get lost in the book of Romans, spend all that time in Romans and for all of this stuff and misinterpret it and completely miss what Jesus is talking about, as well as Paul. I think that's the problem with the church today. That's why they have no power. They don't have the Holy Spirit because they aren't obeying the requirements, aren't meeting the requirements. Okay, they all think they're saved walking around and everything's cool. That's my opinion. Um... Uh, but that's where I stand, just so I've, I've been very open about that. Um, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray. We give thanks for today, for you, for Jesus, for the Gospels, and for the opportunity of salvation. The opportunity of salvation. Jesus has opened the door. Now we have to walk through it. We're not going to be dragged. We pray again, continually, specifically for Joe Primal's son, Ryan, for Mr. Holster for our friend Mike T, and for one of our friend's son. We don't need to know the specifics of why we're praying for them, because you know exactly what's going on in their lives. But we take this time out of our day to, to pray for these people, and um, which is what we are commanded to do. We pray that you fill us, we pray for their health and wellness, as well as their salvation, as well as their family members. Um, we also give... Uh, I don't want to pray for the government again. Uh, anyhow, we pray that you fill us with your Holy Spirit. Open your book to us. Get our minds. Get us curious. Get us to open that book. Get us to read the words of Jesus. And give you a chance to give us revelation from you. Instead of figuring it out for ourselves. We pray for that revelation. So when you open that book, it's like nothing we've ever seen before. And the light goes off. Boing. Oh, this is it. And then you could fill us with your Holy Spirit because we're walking straighter now. We're walking with Jesus now because now we see it. We understand. We're getting we're getting it from you. Hey, this is where I need to be. So now we're chasing. We're not following Jesus. We are chasing him. And in so doing, you're filling us with your Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit and leading us. That is what we pray for, Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Love you. God bless.